with Valley Homes on TV. I'm Debbie Indahar Giordano, and you can watch us on Channel 26 on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. Welcome, Todd. Hey, I'm glad folks have joined us. Yes, this is Todd Flesner, our co-host for today. Well, we, uh, we have an exciting adventure today. Yeah, we've, uh, we've really <laughs> landed into, I think, Never Never Land, yeah. I see. Uh, <laughs> well, it is a storybook sort of uh, occasion that we have here. And we're, we're delighted to be able to introduce to folks here in Milpitas, Vanessa Krish, who is the proprietor of The Fabulous Party People. Yes. Right? So, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much for the opportunity to interview Great. you. Well, uh, you've got a new business here in Milpitas. I do. I do. A party planning company and a kids entertainment company. Okay. True. Well, tell us about your background a little bit, where you grew up, um, and just kind of what got you interested in this line of work. I'm originally from Houston, Texas. I've been in California now for about five years. And uh, my background is actually performing. I used to sing and do musical theater and perform and um, stuff of that nature. And I have three kids, so I'm constantly watching Disney movies and all kinds of children's things. And I see all the things that they go to, and I'm thinking, I can do that too. So I have opened something where we entertain children. And the most fabulous thing that you can think of is your birthday party when you're little. Absolutely. So I want to make every child's birthday party their absolute dream come true. Well, terrific. Well, this is quite a place you have here. And uh, what you. was the inspiration behind this? Um, this is kind of the beginning of my kid's bedroom kind of looks like that and then I took it and just went crazy from there and it's sort of a collaboration of everything Disney everything um, fantasy kind of thrown into one um, it's kind of like a mini Disneyland all at once well that's neat and, and tell us how did you end up landing here in Milpitas um, I actually live close by I live in the San Jose area and Milpitas has lots of children and great school districts so I thought this would be a great place and we're very close to the mall here as well so it's a good area for everybody to come and uh, have fun with us. Great so now what, what got you into uh, the party planning? Well I've always been really creative I've always liked decorating um, I've decorated a lot um, in my career and uh, I love doing things that make other people happy so I think that just collaborating, having their events, and being able to use my creativity was, was what really brought it all together. This is a bright and vibrant place. Did you do all this artwork yourself? Or? I did. Um, I didn't necessarily paint it. Some of it is stickers and stenciling, but um, I came up with kind of where to put it in, in the little rooms themselves. Okay. Have, have after I raised four children, tell me what you have to do for the event. So take me through a planning process. Everyone is different. Like. Um, we do all different kinds of events. We go out to people's homes and th where they have their venues. So our characters will come out there, sing and dance, do face painting, balloon animals. And I think after our interview, we're going to show some of the characters. Too. Yes. That'll be fun. And then we also are now hosting um, parties in our Milpitas location. So we are doing um, tea parties. We're doing characters character theme parties, we'll be doing pirate parties, um, all different types of parties in this location themselves. We'll also be doing beauty parties where the little girls can have their princess, do their hair and makeup, and then get dressed up like a princess. Um, so that's kind of what we do in a nutshell. Nice. Great. So folks can come here, have their party, and not have to worry about cleaning up at home. Absolutely. <laughs> they don't have to worry about decorating. They won't have to worry about the cake. They don't have to do anything except show up. Wow, that's great. I see you have some arts and crafts. And we do. We'll have craft parties, too. Um, and there's lots of activities for them to do while they're here. Great. Well, why do you think that someone should use a, a party planner like you? I mean, you're a creative person. <laughs> I know that we have other creative people. But uh, you know, what's, what's special about uh, what you bring for folks? Well, the number one thing is it's really stressful to plan an event believe it or not, even if it's just your child's birthday party. The second thing is, believe it or not, it's actually cheaper to have us do it because we buy everything in bulk. Okay. Um, and then you can just sit back, relax, tell us what you want, and we make it happen without having to do a lot, especially for parents that work. So I would assume you do the cake? We, do, we the, provide everything that you would like. You can include 
everything or you can pick and choose what you'd like. We can provide the cake, the cupcakes, a candy buffet, all of those things for you as well. Nice. Terrific. So now what are some of the, the challenges you faced in getting your business here up and running? Uh, mostly was just kind of creating the whole idea as, as a whole. Um, it kind of was a process as I went along, and I think that was the hardest thing. But other than that, now that we're up and running, this is the fun part. Well, and so I would assume that's some of the rewards of your career, seeing the smiles on the kids' faces. Absolutely. The peace of the parents. <laughs> <laughs> Making the kids' um, birthday, I mean, this is something that they'll remember for the rest of their life. It's, it's an amazing thing, and seeing the look on their face. I mean, I have two little girls and getting their childhood hero come to life and for their special day is amazing for them and it's so rewarding for everybody. Well, and I wanna ask you, um, Vanessa, so your, your setup here must be unique. I don't think you have, a, there's not a lot of competition no. in this area for what you <laughs> offer. I really don't know too many places, period, like this. Um, it just spawned off of the idea of what I would like to have as a child and what I would like my kids to come to and then I just made it made it happen so right now if folks wanted to find out more about the fabulous party people and, and the options and the opportunities they have how would they go about doing that the best way is to go to our website which is the fabulous party people dot com we'll and uh, you can check out our website that gives you some of the options all the characters that we offer and then come on in we, you can come in and make a uh, appointment time and we'll set up and help you plan and discuss everything for your event Okay, any other future goals ahead of you? Do you want I'd love to uh, make 50 more. party planners uh, <laughs> throughout the United I'd States? I'd love to make more, and I'd like to make the next one much bigger. And um, I was definitely limited with this space. My ideas were all over the place. So, yeah, I'd love to make, make more of them. Great. Now, do you have a favorite character yourself? I love Princess Jasmine. Oh, she yeah? is my favorite. <laughs> um, my daughter's name is actually Jasmine as well. So that's my favorite my favorite character, but yeah. I love all the Disney princesses. You are a joy to have here in Milpitas, and I think you're going to make a lot of Milpitas children so happy. Thank you for taking the time to oh. interview on the show, and hopefully you have lots of success here. Thank you, and thank you guys so much for having me on the show. Yeah, we enjoyed it, and best of luck to you. Thank you. Through the years, trends and styles may come and go, but the important things remain the same. Generation after generation, consistently there, creating moments and memories to last a lifetime. Like a true friend, the National Parks have always been there for you, and now you can be there for them. Support the National Park Foundation and help protect America's treasured places. Think you found every hazard out here today? Think again. The spot you missed could be a killer. That spot on your skin could be skin cancer. If you're a man over 50, you're in a group most likely to develop skin cancer, including melanoma, the kind that kills one person every hour. That's why your best shot is to check for a spot. It's easy. Follow through and check your skin. Go to spotskincancer.org to find out how. A message from the American Academy of Dermatology. Through the years, trends and styles may come and go, but the important things remain the same. Generation after generation, consistently there, creating moments and memories to last a lifetime. Like a true friend, the National Parks have always been there for you, and now you can be there for them. Support the National Park Foundation and help protect America's treasured places. Welcome back, everyone. You're watching Dally Homes on TV. I'm Debbie and Andrew Giordano with Todd Flesner. Um, we are talking about the uh, statistics and the economy and the local housing market that affects you here for the month of September. So, um, it, uh, job growth, uh, steam, whatever. Anyway, um, I heard an economist 
Carol Rodini, that spoke at the Board of Realtors, and she talked about the national economy. Um, she talked about a jobless recovery, but yet right here in our valley, what we are, we're, our economy is so unique here in Silicon Valley from anything else in the country or the world. So um, that, I, that, that is true, absolutely. Our, our jobs market here is, is much, much healthier than it is across the I board. I want to give you five quick yeah. facts that she Good. brought up about the Bay Area economy. Um, it, we're at a 5.3 unemployment to 7% unemployment, so that's better than the rest of the national economy. By 2040, we will have 2.1 more million people in population here in this area. Um, we have cultural and economic diversity. We have great surrounding lifestyles where somebody can, you can drive up to Lake Tahoe or, you know, close by from this area. And Silicon Valley, we know, is the heart of technology. So that makes our area very, very unique. So how does that translate into the local economy? Well, um, uh, we know that in the next two to three years, large companies in the Bay Area will are be purchasing smaller companies. So technology will continue to be innovative here. Uh, rental markets, rental properties are going up in costs. Um, it's 2000 and plus dollars per month for a rental property. Um, we're at peak price right now for now, but foreclosures are only 5%, and they're down from 52%. So that's an uh, interesting um, uh, fact for our area. And 25% of our deals are still all cash. So we still have a fairly, fairly strong uh, real estate market. So um, what's going to happen in the next six months, she predicts, inventory will have doubled. Uh, buyer's affordability is still good. Uh, pricing, she talked about list price. You know, when you see a home for sale and you look at the list price, that doesn't mean anything. It's what it sells for. It, it, exactly. I mean, <laughs> right. it's just what somebody throws on mm -hmm. a, a home to, in, it, that's either attractive to a buyer or not. But uh, list price doesn't mean much any, anymore. And there's more competition for sellers due to higher inventories right now. So she predicts a good market for the next three to five years. 27 to 35% buyers are from international. They're international buyers, more prevalent. And uh, real estate is still the best place to put your dollars. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It's, it's interesting. And that, um, you know, it doesn't come as any surprise to someone who works in the industry on a day to day basis, but it's good to see the numbers to back that um, and, to, and to see what those trend lines are. So let me are. give you some quick numbers. In San Jose uh, Mercury, have home buyers get break as hot market cools off. And that is the case. The, the market is beginning to cool. But let's look what's happened uh, between August 2012 and August 2013. In 2012, uh, average price was 715000 for a single-family home and 605000 for a medium price. That's uh, actually, that dropped. It dropped down to 704000 for an average price and 688 for a medium price. So it, it kind of changes around. But not, not a big fluctuation there. So they've already taken into account the shift in the market. But the condo market has definitely shift. In August 2012, we had 363000 for an average price, and that's r rose to now to 472000 for a townhome. And I, I think that's phenomenal um, due to the fact that we have a lot of building going on in the city, a lot of uh, townhome bu building. I would have not have predicted that. That, that I'm very surprised. Yeah, that seems to be what the new um, new product is coming on the market is is that townhome condo. Should have depressed the existing sales, but it has not done so. So, so there's been some pent-up demand. People have seen the prices go up and people are, are jumping in, but again, some leveling now with so, uh, with prices. So let me ask you, Todd, I've got, I get your weekly um, yes. email updates about the interest rates. I think we're, we're down a little bit. The, it says economists see interest rates leveling off. So what do you see? Um, yeah, we've seen actually a little bit of a dip here recently in interest rates. Um, and a lot of it has to do with what's going on with the Federal Reserve Board and this quantitative easing or QE program that they've had. And uh, been speculation that as we uh, have come out of the summer here that they would um, be tapering that, that program in their most recent Fed statement says they're going to continue to purchase mortgage bonds, um, which is you know, keeping interest rates low. So that's stable. It is, it, is, it is stable. It's a stabilizing factor. And again, we've, we've seen rates come down as much as a half percent yes. over what they've been yes. in the last month or so. Yes. So, you know, if, if folks were looking at maybe being you know, priced out of the market or you know, maybe a refinance didn't make sense for, it might be a good chance to take a look again. What, what would half a percent do, say on an average home, what do you think that might make 
Half a percent. Five hundred thousand, six hundred thousand dollar home. Yeah, it could payment, be you know, fifty. Yeah, you know, it could be yeah, you know, hundred, hundred fifty bucks. Depends okay. on the type of loan that they have, and okay. um, you know, but for some folks that is a significant deal. And, and for a loan of that size, that's usually my rule of thumb: is you want to save at least half a percent, and it'll save you a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars on you know, on the average loan. Okay. And that's a good place to start looking. Okay. Yeah. Do you see rates going any deeper, for, further down, or? You know, like well, it's, it's, it's hard to know with, with the crystal ball. Um, and again, you know, we're in such a unique area here economically in terms of what's happening. It's, it's harder to get a barometer just looking out the window here for, as opposed to what's going on on a national sort of basis, which is the driver really more of what interest rates are going to be. Um, it looks and like then, that. And then again, the choice of the new Fed federal uh, chairman that could change with Bernanke going out and somebody that's else correct. coming in. There's uh, dynamics there yeah. and uh, some politics with that and people, you know, names in, names out. And, right. We're yeah, so there's some uncertainty there. Um, and, you know, the, the geopolitical environment as well. Uncertainty will sometimes lead to a um, little bit lower interest rates as, people, as investors have a flight for quality and a, and a you know a rate of return that they know they can count on. But let me guess, rates are great. <laughs> they are. They're fabulous. They're fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the low fours right now for for, for a conforming loan, which is is fabulous. So great. Um, you know, if they they move around a little bit on a daily basis, but uh, you know can't complain. Great. Well, how about a contact information? Um, yeah, you can reach me at four zero eight. 921-0669, cell phone number, and okay. for you, Deb. And for me, if uh, any questions about the show, 408-858-5771. It's been a pleasure again to bring you Valley Homes on TV, and we've got a couple great segments coming up. I think we're going out to a, a party, a new party <laughs> place. And we're, we're going on site to a new company that... They do parties or something like that. That's well, it sounds like fun. Folks sounds are gonna, like fun. Folks are going to have to join us to see where we're headed. See where we're <laughs> on the road. On the road. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for watching Valley Homes on TV. We'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you.